you have the bill in each state which was passed where it double tax workers who have already paid their taxes and put their money on the electronic wallet to, to on the digital wallet to basically send it to people, friends and family or stuff like that. I have always said that there should be another technology or an IT architecture put in place to differentiate between merchants where you have to apply the VAT and NHIL and people who are just doing personal transactions. You cannot constantly be taxing people's savings, which in some cases you will be going into confiscation of um, savings. So it's unfortunate that um, it's been passed um, in a state that is in. I think that we need a bill. Did, 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 did you just say, help. did you just say, Kodopoku, that it's unfortunate that it's been passed in the state in which it is? Yes, it's unfortunate it's been passed in the state because it's divisive. The state that is in is divisive. I think that it should be passed in a state that both parties or both houses are happy with. Look, the opposition, the minority, are opposed to part of it. I'm sure in the past three months, they have um, made some utterances of maybe 1% rate, where they think that 1% rate, they would be happy to sit around the table. Um, there been suggestions from some part of the minority on some parts that they think that it double tax people who are sending money to friends and family. I, I also share that view. So like, like I said, it's unfortunate that it's been passed in the state that it's in. Um, government needs the revenue. Let's not um, joke with that. We have all seen the state this economy is in. But the e levy being passed at its state does not solve all our problems. If anything, is the beginning of most of our problems because now um, you have multi people who are going to stop using the service uh, because they don't think that they are prepared to pay 1.5 percent of that money they are sending. So your projections will not now pan out because your projections don't pan out. The e levy doesn't get to do what you claim is going to do. Then Ghanaians are going to look at you and say, "Look, my brother, you said you're going to pass e levy, and my road was going to be done." You're going to pass e levy, I'm going to be rich all of a sudden. You're going to pass e levy, and all contractors will be paid, which we all know is not true. So we've had problems which have been going on for five years. We've not put plans in place to solve them. And all of a sudden, we basically made it look like e levy is the, um, the magic one that solves all the problems. It's not.